Hello everybody, my name is Ujelly, and today let's play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Now, in the last part, we did some of the dark story, so we're gonna do the hero story. Hi, Tails, I don't care. And this is the level I hate. All of my rage! You shall feel it. At least it's the level where we get the hover shoes. Hopefully. I believe it is. If it isn't, someone's going to have to die. Now, the reason why I hate this level is mostly because they never give you warning when something's about to fall from the sky, hit you in the face, steal your money, and be all around your- See, like, look, there is no indication that something should fall from up there. It's a ceiling! It's a flat ceiling! There is, like, there's no hole, there's a fan! You can't fall through that fan, that fan isn't broken. Like... Just like random things will fall, and if you don't know what's gonna fall when, you're basically screwed. Now you can get over there with like if you run across quickly and have like the hover shoes, I believe, but we don't. Boosters. Also, why would you put a fence here if you want people to go over that direction? Like, I remember as a kid, it took me a while to figure out I had to go over to the other side. Just die. Come on, fall! Thank you. Yep, now we have the hover shoes, so life is a little bit easier. Life is a, doesn't suck as much in these stages. Fall! Thank you. You shall be mine! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the animal that you can usually get in the Tails and Eggman stages that's special, like you know with like Sonic and uh, um, Shadow, it's usually like a unicorn, and with Rogue, Rouge, Rogue, whatever her name is, um, it's usually, um, I, it's, that ah, I forget what I was saying. It's usually, like, um, uh, a dragon. Uh, in this, in their stages, it's usually a phoenix, and in this stage in particular, I believe, you can actually get two phoenixes. I think. If I remember correctly. I hate it when they shoot me. Um, like, except you have to have a certain power-up, and we don't get that power-up until much, much later. I also got to start looking up where these power-ups are, but I'm going to be so busy in the next couple days. I have no idea when or if and when I'll be able to upload any of this stuff. I'm going to be so busy. Like, um, I've got an animation to make. I've actually got two animations to make, so really your guess is as good as mine as to when we can get on top of this pillar um, as to when I'm going to be able to update. So it's going to be sporadic, warning you all again. I've probably warned you guys like three times now. Oh well, warning you again. Alright. Now with this, basically you just don't want to land on the shadow. Otherwise there's going to be something that's going to fall and hit you in the face and kill you. Um, like there! Another robot that you wouldn't think would land there. It's not telegraphed at all. Also, like, there's these guys that are shooting at you. This highway system's insane. No person in their right mind would live in a city with roads these bad. Don't step on the things, they'll fall. Um. Now go over this way. I don't know why I'm paying attention into what power ups I should be picking up, like, for Steve. But, um. Because, like. What? Ah. When we. Like go to get him, we're gonna do one more stage, so it doesn't matter, we're gonna get all of these replaced soon. Now here's one phoenix that you can get if you're able to shoot these, but we don't have that, so yeah. If you want to make your chow phoenix and you're a bit a bit farther into the game than I am at, right at this moment, then just know there's two phoenixes in this stage. One from the box and one from, get on the pillar, um, one from uh, that, that little box right there, I believe. I believe. Alright, keep moving, dear god. That missile almost got me. Oh god! I forgot it did that! I forgot it did that! <laughs> I was just like, oh, they're just gonna do the regular, oh, let's move slightly to the side thing, or tilt up and down slightly. No, we're going to completely maneuver in a way that shouldn't be physically possible to still walk on top of. I believe I'm getting called for dinner. But I can't go to dinner right now. Mostly because I have to keep moving. Moving! And more lasers. Well, not lasers. Missiles. Hello? Nope. Okay. One stage down! Thank goodness that didn't take as long. Dear God. The last episode was ridiculous. 
We gotta see. That's better than I expected, <laughs> to be honest. I remember as a kid, I always hated like the newer Sonic games that raided you. I was like, dear god, what do you guys want from me? I remember Sonic Heroes was worse, too. Sonic Heroes was like, every stage after the first two, you were getting an E. <laughs> um, yeah, find three pieces of- Oh, Quantic Mind! This is the stage I was talking about! <laughs> well, I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Alright, now in this stage... This is the stage that I was talking about where if you don't know exactly where you need to go, you're not gonna figure out where this power-up is that you need to complete the game. Now you have to go up here and first change the water level. This is a water level stage. Just to warn you guys now. Go over here, change it to three. Go over here and then one of these. I gotta figure out which one. Um, there's these little mine shaft tunnels that we need to go down. Oh, hey, we're near the thing of a bob, whatever. Um, I believe it's this one we need to go down. Um, there's two of these though, so you can get mixed up. Okay. Uh, I don't believe it's this one. I believe it's the other one. I'm pretty sure I needed to change it to three. Down this way. Okay, do not hit the spring that's apparently down there that I didn't see. Okay. Now we're going to have to make a mad dash in order to get this. It's going to be a very a bit difficult if I don't talk. No, you know why. Alright, now we gotta dive down over this way. No, oh, yeah, the music for when you're out of breath in this game is ridiculously scary. I had forgotten what it sounded like, and when I was t playing through this game, it, like, scared the crap out of me. And... Air necklace! An oxygen tank necklace that can now- that you can now breathe underwater. Yeah! You need that to complete the game, and they don't tell you- like, that- that's an area you wouldn't n naturally go to, like... It's in a really weird, out of place spot. I, like, I completely missed that the first time playing through this game. And I got to the stage where you need it, and I was like, there's no way I can beat this stage. There's absolutely no way. Um, so yeah. Th that was a bit ridiculous, and I got really pissed at the game for that. I remember for me that was almost like a deal breaker. <laughs> it was like, you can't do that. Okay. TV, what do you have to say for yourself? Skull looking at each other in a cave? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, another thing to change water levels is here. Let's change it to two, just because I can. Um, another TV, let's read what the TV says. A narrow path. Bet it's in here or something. No, not in there. Okay. There's a lot of these narrow, weird looking paths. Okay. Uh, crap. <laughs> this is another one of those stages where, like, I don't really know it too well. I remember as a kid I hated this stage. And now I don't find it as bad. Where is this thing of stuff that I need to go find? No, I don't think it's in here. Ah! Uh, I was like, are they not moving? No, they are. Okay. Uh, the upper narrow path where on a floating platform on a floating platform wait what skulls looking at each other in the cave a narrow path upper area of the narrow path where there's a floating platform okay I think I know what they're talking about but I'm not entirely sure ah see that threw me off No, oh, it's- I believe we need to change the water level again. It's being a jerk to me! Let's go back up here. I need- we need- I think we need to change the water level to three again, but we have to first come up here and change it to one, so that we can actually get up to the area that allows us to change it to three. I believe. I'm not really entirely sure. 
it. That's very convoluted. This whole entire area is convoluted. <laughs> it's like a midi water temple in Zelda. <laughs> ah, just get up there! Once again, not ready re to record and I'm failing. Failing so hard! So much failing! Alright, now in here, over this way. There we go. Seriously, would you have figured that out on your own? <laughs> uh, metal barrier where ghosts live. Okay, I know where that is. Like, if you didn't know this area too well, how long do you think it would take you to figure that out? <laughs> one, the fact that, um, due to... Uh, one, due to the fact that, uh, you, like, one, you don't know the area. Two, the radar leads you off a little bit because of just the way that the radar works. Um, three, if you're not familiar with water moving uh, mechanics, the thing was going off here, wasn't it? All right. Ah! All right, now I believe it's in here because there's a ton of ghosts. I don't like these ghosts. All right. Keep moving at- that doesn't work. Ghost live. No? No radar going off? I swear it was hidden here, because there's like a ton of them where it's like, ghosts live and- where ghosts live, and it's like, well, the ghosts live in this little area over this way, but apparently no, not today. Not today. I don't know if I mentioned this in a former video, but with all the rap songs, for knuckle stages. A lot of them have funny lyrics, and I can't believe I didn't mention this for the first episode when we were- not the first episode, the first episode with Knuckles, where, um, uh, we were- there was that one rap that was going on. I believe it was just because Dr. Tran- You gotta be kidding me! It's up here? Alright, where is it? Where is the gosh darn- You can't be serious. Where ghosts live, and ah! near a wall, it's already going green. Let's just find this stupid thing. Oh my god! Anyway, um, like uh, in the first stage, there's a lot of funny lyrics in that rap song. Like the like uh, one thing, there's a lot of oh hey there it is. There's a lot of mention of like se um, innuendo, or like it says like Rouge is after his jewels and stuff. And another thing is my sister finds one line funny. I got an E. Um, where uh, the guy says, "Give up the emerald or die." I don't love you. Just the way he says it, it's so silly. Anyway, that's two stages, and now hopefully this cutscene won't be super long. There always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Knuckles! Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we, anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckles! I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the President in the government computer. I'm following the President's limo right now! If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there! Alright, thank goodness. Now, this is probably gonna give away what the next stage is all about. It's actually different than usual. It's a driving stage. But we're not gonna do that. You know why? Because we got chairs to visit! Alright, now let's keep moving and then I'm gonna go eat. Because I need food. I like my food. Food is good for me. Very good for me. Let's use tails. Just because we can! Just cause we can! I don't know why I keep using the guru voice in this let's play. Oh man. Alright, now, 
If you remember, we left Steve off at um uh, the daycare to go do what he does best and learn how to spin dance. I'm not gonna leave anyone here to learn how to the tambourine. That'd just be weird. Hi, Steve. You know how to dance now? Okay, let's keep moving. It get in the door. Get in the door, Tails. Tails, get in the door. Okay. Back to the Chow Garden. Yeah. Alright. Eat this, it's just good for you. I need to still sell that pumpkin. Eat it and rejoice. Hi, Mario! I actually fed Mario a lot um, off screen, so he actually did change color. Dr dratic dr ah, drastically. Drastically. That's a word. Use it. Use it wisely. Yay! Is he changing colors? I can't tell. But yeah, he should be turning like a greenish color soon. Like just the blue part of his head. And like with Steve, that Steve Mario, you can notice that like um, he is changed to a more purplish color. And also the sides of his head, if you notice, have begun to bulge out very slightly. So that's another change that happens to these guys. Hmm, maybe we should do another race with you. We should probably have you eat, though. You need to eat your food, Lipshin. I don't know what Lipshin means. I just know that they call little kids that every so often. Ah, uh, poor, poor Mario. He just keeps tripping. <laughs> he just gets back up and keeps smiling. Just like, yeah, I'm a boss. What are you gonna do about it? Let's enter you in another race. We've got time. Yeah, let's do that. For chow race. All right. Begin our race. Eventually, we'll do the karate. It's just the karate is a bit harder than um. Can't talk. Then um. It's, karate is a bit harder than the races. Ah, that's what I'm trying to say. I can't talk today at all. All right, we know this cutscene. Just skip it. I don't think you can skip this one. And as you can see, the chows begin to look a little bit weirder. Probably still not as weird as good old Steve here, though. All right, Steve, make Mama proud. Yay! Now we don't even have to press A in order to encourage him. He's that far ahead. It's kind of funny that uh, the one really weird looking one is the one that's doing the best. This is I probably should have picked a shorter race. Oh well, I'm going to press A just to speed it up a bit. Because the second you're done is when the race ends. And they just the computer calculates the rest of who won. It doesn't really matter. Whee! Just swimming along. I like those crabs in the background. They look so derpy. They're just like derp, 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 derp. I'm a crab! I'm gonna lift my arms and move slightly to the left. Cause I'm a crab! I'm gonna move to the right now, then back to the left! Cause I'm a crab! <laughs> ah! <laughs> They're just so weird. So much derp. And we won! Yay! And... Someone's moving around upstairs. Oh well. Anyway, I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna go eat once this race is completely over. And no, let's get out of here. Let's just quit racing. Now we're back outside! Someone... Is someone drowning? I thought I heard a drowning noise. Yay! Way to go, Steve! That was awesome! You did it, Steve! Steve! You proud of yourself, Steve? You did it! So happy for you, Steve! Steve! Okay, I'm done. Alright. Anyway, if you like this episode, please subscribe. If you have already, thank you. And I hope all of you have a lovely day. Isn't that right, Steve? They should all have a lovely day. Steve! Steve, get back here and do the outro correctly. Steve! <laughs>